Yes, here. Water. Water. Yes. Japanese water? No, this from Homestead. Oh, yes. Homestead Hotel water. Yes. I bring it. They give me many water every day. Good. Two, three. This is very large. Japanese. <laughs> yes. Everybody sits back. Yeah. Dr. Jones, how are you? How are you? Good. Hi. Hideki. <coughs> Bob Jones. Hi, I'm Hideki. Welcome. It's so good to have you with us. Ah, nice to meet you. Glad you're here. Ah. So what institution do you represent in, uh, oh, in Japan? I, I like, uh, I like to uh, uh, today? Uh, 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 yes, so. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, oh great. Uh, yes. So I like to talk about... Country. Yes. Many times. Yes, oh, really? Yes. So I like to talk about our activities well, and Japan's uh, yeah. research environment, too. Uh -huh. okay. First, uh, this was Tokyo in 1974. 1974. Oh. Cardiac surgery in this Oh. 45, 50, 40? And is that, is that true? I'm working with John Alexander. Oh, great. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Touch. Okay. It is on you. Mmm. Wow. Now you guys got lucky. Hi. Hi. Thank you, Rupert. Thank you, Rupert. Yeah. John makes a short presentation before me, okay. and I'll have a speech. Don't need that yet. Yeah, I will, I will do <laughs> Q&A. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm John Alexander. I'm a cardiologist here at DCRI. Uh, and for those of you who don't speak Japanese, you're in luck. Um, we're going to actually do this whole research conference in English. So um, <laughs> except for one, one slide, which we're going to do in Japanese. Um, so uh, I'm going to uh, give a few uh, uh, minutes of sort of high-level overview of um, DCRI's engagement and involvement in Japan and then in clinical research in Japan and then um, turn uh, it over to my friend uh, Hideki Hananoka for the rest of the, um, for the for to give them the body of the research conference. So um, you guys are all familiar with our map of the world, uh, DCRI. Uh, conducts clinical trials in con and other clinical research projects in over 64 countries, uh, including in those islands off the uh, coast of Asia, um, Japan, where we've uh, run a number of cl uh, clinical trials over the years. So Japan's uh, a country about the size of California. It's got 127 million people who live in about 25% uh, of the total geography because the rest of it is mountainous. mountainous. And so they live in, in great density in a series of uh, cities along the southern coast, uh, Tokyo, uh, down to Osaka, and, and, and others. And Hideki is from Chiba University, uh, which is right outside of um, Tokyo, right near where the Tokyo airport, Narita, is. Um, the healthcare system in Japan is uh, a, um, f a federally funded healthcare system where everybody has uh, government funded insurance and patients pay a portion of their uh, healthcare costs. And if, unless you lump all of Europe together, uh, Japan is the second largest healthcare market um, in the world, um, with some of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world being based in, in Japan. I first got involved in Japan back in uh, 2001, 2002, when Daiichi Pharmaceuticals uh, approached Bob Harrington about us helping them run a clinical trial with this factor 10 inhibitor called DX9065A. Uh, in the United States, Canada, and Japan. 
And I had a number of opportunities to go to Japan to uh, visit investigators there and start to learn about the research infrastructure. And that was really the beginning of what has become um, my interest in Japan and really our collaboration with investigators uh, from Japan. Um, just to sidetrack off of clinical research for a second, um, one of the most amazing places uh, in the world um, that I've ever been to is uh, the Skiji fish market, which is uh, the wholesale fish market uh, in Tokyo. Um, th they have these warehouses uh, full of uh, tuna, both fresh and frozen, uh, and every day at about four in the morning, which is ju works just about right with jet lag, um, uh, it's a great time to go down there. They have a, a wholesale uh, fish auction where they auction off thousands and thousands of tuna. And it's a great, for those of you who like sushi, it's the best place in the world to have sushi for breakfast um, with uh, the freshest fish you can imagine. And every kind of creature out of the sea uh, you can find at Skiji. So we have, uh, um, at the DCRI, uh, Suresh uh, Balu, who's uh, in the back of the room, has been leading a number of groups to try to develop strategies uh, for various geographies. And I and others on this slide are in a Japan-Korea uh, uh, strategy group, um, uh, trying to get our hands around all of the various uh, cardiovascular space, but also related to research clinical research education um, uh, and, uh, and related to uh, regulatory in engagement with Japanese regulators in, in, in conjunction with uh, the US uh, FDA. And I'll talk just a little bit more about um, that first uh, uh, activity on here called Harmonization by Doing. So Harmonization by Doing is a uh, collaborative, multi-stakeholder uh, activity that uh, really was founded by Mitch Krukoff. I, I was involved early on, uh, Allison Handler, um, between uh, US and Japanese uh, regulators and uh, uh, academics and industry focused around cardiovascular devices. Uh, and it uh, has uh, taken on um, a life of its own where now Japanese and uh, U.S. regulators are simultaneously reviewing uh, new device uh, programs and applications and uh, working toward uh, simultaneous development of uh, cardiovascular devices in the United States and Japan. Uh, harmonization by doing also has a post-market uh, surveillance uh, program uh, that's been focused on left ventricular assist devices. There's a U.S.-based uh, registry called Intermax um, that uh, collects data on most patients getting left ventricular assist devices in the United States. And there's been developed a parallel uh, uh, registry in Japan um, with mergeable data um, that, are allow that allow starts to allow comparative analyses be across these two data sets uh, in the post-market space. And then uh, just recently, um, again, Allison Handler, Mitch Krukoff, and others um, have uh, gotten a contract to run a, a, a novel drug-eluting stent uh, clinical trial in the United States and Japan. Uh, this is one of the largest uh, uh, drug eluting stents pro programs uh, that's been conducted in Japan to date with um, over 570 patients. We're going to be the data coordinating center and the clinical coordinating center for the trial, um, working with uh, CIMIC, uh, a CRO in Japan, uh, as well as a number of investigators in Japan. So here we from the DCRI are going to be running uh, this clinical trial uh, with colleagues from Japan. So um, this is the one slide that's in Japanese that uh, Hideki helped write for me. Uh, and I always, I like um, having a slide in Japanese because it uh, reminds me just how far culturally uh, and language-wise um, we are as Americans from our colleagues in Japan. So um, this says, this is my introductory slide for Hideki and I have it written here in, in English for me. But it, it said, the first line there says, I visit Japan several times a year and I'd like to introduce my friend and colleague, Dr. Hideki Hanoka. He's the director of the Chiba University Clinical Research Center, uh, and uh, Chiba University Hospitals is one of the recently named core clinical research centers uh, in Japan. So with that, I'll turn um, the rest of the presentation over uh, to Hideki. He's going to give us an, an overview of uh, what's going on with clinical research in Japan broadly. There's a lot happening, uh, and then tell us a little bit about the Chiba Clinical Research Center. Hideki. John, thank you. 
for nice introduction and introducing me. And uh, it's very uh, great pleasure for me to come here and have an uh, opportunity to uh, make a presentation. And I'd like to uh, first introduce myself. My name is Hideki Hanaoka from Chiba University. And, and I'm now, uh, I, uh, I was to be a master's fellow when he became came here and we worked together. So <clears throat> today I would like to talk about uh, uh, Japan's uh, clinical research environment and, and Chiba's uh, activities. So uh, and my talk would be a probably 30 minutes and, and so please ask me a question after my presentation. So this is the uh, oh, so this is the outline of my presentation, and I divided to two parts: uh, uh, clinical research environment in Japan, that regu regulation about uh, res uh, clinical research, and five-year clinical research uh, activation plan we, that we called. And the second part is uh, aerial activities of Ch Chiba uh, that include our university introduction five. Uh, key areas, clinical trials, and education, training, uh, and international academic partnership, and um, partnership between regulatory agency. And I, at last, I will show the goals. So, uh, so first, I would like to show this um, beautiful temple garden in Japan. Have you ever been to Japan to see this one? Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, these two are very famous uh, temple uh, garden in Japan. And very, oh, sorry. Uh, this golden um, temple, this is very gorgeous. But uh, this one is very simple. Uh, which do you prefer? Both are uh, Japanese uh, temple and or Buddhist. So uh, there is a big difference, but the root is the same. I want to say that today I would like to talk about a clinical research environment in Japan. And it's very different from uh, US, and our activity is very different from uh, DCRI. But uh, so this would be this one, gorgeous one. <laughs> and Japan, our Chiba would be simple. <laughs> But the root is the same. I would say that we work for the, pa the, the patient and, and, and care's uh, improvement, and, we, and that is through the clinical trial. So I want to say that one. So, uh, uh, so first I would like to start with uh, the uh, regulation of uh, Japan clinical trial. So this is the outline of new drug uh, devices approval review process in Japan. Um, there are three uh, stakeholders to, to this uh, uh, review process. First one is PMDA. That is a uh, name, uh, Pharmaceuticals and Medical Device Agency. This is the counterpart of US FDA. And MSW, this is the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare. That and there's another uh, third uh, key uh, person, uh, uh, PAFC. This is a Pharmaceutical Affairs and Food Sanitation Council. So when the company came to uh, submission new uh, data for uh, drug approval, PMDA make a review report. And they send MSW and uh, PFSC uh, made final decision. And at last, a uh, 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 pharmaceutical company get, get uh, approval from MCW. And Japan has been ICH, uh, 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 one of the ICH six party for a long time. And Japanese uh, uh, GCPs is very, uh, is, is just same as uh, ICH GCP. So, So I would like to talk about ICH uh, relation with uh, regarding to uh, Japanese uh, uh, 
Japanese uh, developing drug-driven strategy. First, um, <coughs> first um, um, a bridging study, uh, I'm not sure that you are familiar with the bridging study, but uh, in Japan, this bridging study uh, make us to, uh, uh, oh sorry, make us to use the global clinical trial for Japanese uh, approval. This is came from ICID efficacy E5 guidance. And next one is, uh, is uh, the, these two uh, guidelines from MSW. Uh, after bridging strategy, uh, many pharmaceutical companies move on to global drug development. So we Japanese uh, uh, participate in global clinical trials for these several years. So uh, these two guidelines has uh, came from MSW, and now we run many kind of uh, global trial in Japan. And I would like to move on the uh, comparison of NIH, a Japanese NIH trial and NDA trials. In GCP, he, I talk about uh, the Jap uh, industry a new drug approval. That is this new NDA trials with, that I called. And and there is, uh, and I divided the trial to two parts. Japanese in a trial that I, that's I just named like this way. Uh, this is uh, something you say industry uh, or uh, investigate in the clinical trial. But uh, I don't want to use this word because there's some reason I'll talk about later. And um, this Japanese NIH trials uh, is run by MSW guidance. And this is very similar to uh, ICID GCP, but there is a big difference. We do not have to do uh, IND, and it is not a law. And on the other hand, only it is for industry uh, drug approval. So uh, it is run by ICID GCP. And in Japanese, uh, we call uh, pharmaceutical affair laws. This is ICID GCP. Uh, we, uh, we we translate it in Japanese, and we run uh, a new drug approval for industry uh, under this trial, under this uh, is regulation. So, uh, so now we don't have a national research arc, arc, arc yet, uh, uh, you have in US. So I think the Japanese government have to change this situation in the near future, and they are not uh, talking about how to change this situation. So next, I will talk about the, uh, uh, the regulatory uh, MSWs uh, uh, bureau that uh, re that related to these uh, guideline and <coughs> law. And there's uh, many bureau in MSW, and I pick up three uh, bureau that related to uh, new drug approval and and clinical trial. And the first one is, uh, oh sorry, it's Healthy, Pol Healthy Policy Bureau, and this this bureau has a responsibility for uh, uh, clinical trial uh, guidance. That's, that's a, a as a Japanese NIH trial, and a pharmaceutical and food bu uh, safety bureau has a responsibility for uh, industry uh, uh, NDA trial. So. Uh, they, so the different bureau has a responsibility for for different and and, and tr trial. So that is a big uh, 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 make that makes very confusing for us regarding to the clinical trial. And, and then I just I just mentioned they are now trying to change and uh, and uh, 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 and now talking about how to. Uh, move on uh, guidance to uh, GCP uh, uh, these days. And uh, so that would be better for us to uh, use the data that we had done by ourselves in our university to uh, submission or to PMDA, and they can um, use our data uh, for uh, approval. 
And next, I would like to so, uh, talk about the uh, uh, history of Japanese uh, uh, GCP uh, about these 10 years. And as I mentioned, Japanese uh, is a, a member of, uh, of ICH. Uh, uh, after the IC, oh, sorry, ICH established is, uh, and make a, a final agreement in 1996, uh, Japanese uh, GCP. Uh, in this one, nine in 2003, there was a uh, uh, s small but very mm, uh, good change. Uh, there's a there's written investigate the initial trials. This is very different from U.S. investigate initial trial. We do this investigate initial trial for a new drug approval, and we get a, a drug from a company and get a budget from a uh, government and run a, a trial for uh, new labeling. The, some kind of drugs are very, a, a, sometimes a drug uh, that a company do not prefer to develop. For, uh, that for example, rare disease, we can do such kind of trial under this uh, law. So uh, when we start this uh, investigative trial, we have to visit PMDA for consultation. And after the agreement, we can uh, start a trial. And after finish the trial, we have to go to the PMDA with a company to submit the data and get approval. So this is kind of trials cost many money, just same as uh, industry trial. And every year, probably five or 10, less than five or 10 uh, trial has started. But uh, anyway, this is a, one of the new uh, uh, trials that we can do since, th since 2003. And this year, there were, uh, last year, we had a very uh, big uh, uh, change of GCP. Now, the uh, government uh, issue of GCP guidance. And uh, that means that they, it, it used to be low, but it still is a low, but they call it guidance. And it means that we don't have, for example, we don't have to do 100% STP uh, <laughs> regarding to this gui new guidance. In old days, we have to do that, but in these days, we don't have to do. So, uh, so this is the history of the GCP. And I want to talk about uh, how uh, the uh, government po policy has changed regarding to the uh, clinical trial. And this is the number of clinical trial. Uh, clinical trial means uh, industry trial, and in and in 1996, it was about 700 uh, started in a year. And it goes down, and this was because of the <coughs> GCP effect is one reason. But one, another reason is that uh, Japanese uh, drug development environment was not so good. So government started three-year uh, national uh, clinical trial activism plan in 2003. And it, it works well, and after that, uh, government decided to do another five-year national clinical trial activity plan from 2007 to 2011. And last year, they started next one, next plan, 2012, additional five years. And in this five years activity plan, they uh, selected 15 core research center in Japan. So i like to talk about this. Uh, Core research, uh, cent uh, core research Center. But before that, I'd like to talk about the uh, detail of this uh, activation plan, five-year uh, trial activation plan, 2012, that was made by uh, MSW, and this is a, a Minister of Education Technology. And there are two points in this uh, activation plan. One point is, to, uh, is for industry trial. They want to, uh, the government wants to make Japanese interest trial to increase, and to that, uh, they, they leave, uh, further leave and independence of the clinical trials site <laughs> is the first focus. So uh, in the detail, there's uh, written increase of the environment of the trial subject, efficient uh, administrative process for the uh, uh, clinical trials, uh, trace, uh, training of doctors, to increase the number of investigators, and these all things that uh, government wants for us to do. And another point is uh, 
uh, they focus on the uh, transfer research at academia. And, and this is to develop of innovative drugs and medical devices originated from Japan. That is the second focus of this uh, activity plan. So they start to support a clinical trial called Hospital in Japan. And, and in this plan, they ask us to run clinical trial under ICGCP. That is to, uh, that, that's because they want to use the data to uh, get a, to make an approval from our uh, data. So, uh, and so I'd like to talk about our the uh, 15 hospital for clinical research uh, in Japan. And Chiba has selected as uh, one of the uh, red one uh, uh, core clinical research center 2012. Uh, it was like last year. And there are three types of research, a core research center. First one is for phase one trial and POC trial. And second one is for phase two and phase three. And third one, they selected another uh, phase two and phase three trial. So this is very s similar, same. So they added another five trials. And their total, uh, 15 core research centers in Japan. And government budget, uh, MSW got $6 million over five years. But I'm not sure they will really give this money <laughs> every year. They try to, uh, they probably it goes down every year. <laughs> I hope it will keep. But anyway, this has started. And I will, to, I will talk about the detail of this core research center. So, uh, for the uh, Transfer Research Center 2011, this is a center for phase one trial and PPOC trials. And there was four uh, university, uh, four, uh, five sites that includes uh, three university and two uh, national uh, center. And there are, uh, there's a National Cancer Center, East Hospital, they has a, that's located in Chiba Free Brexit, and National Cancer Center has two hospitals, one is in Tsukiji and another is in, in Chiba, and they has a phase one unit for uh, cancer disease, and there are many kind of uh, new drug uh, for uh, POC and P P1 study in this hospital. And also the university, that uh, they, they are uh, <laughs> going to, to uh, cardiology, a, a transfer research. Uh, probably, as you know, that uh, Dr. Sawa from uh, uh, Osaka University, he's a surgeon, but he makes some kind of uh, muscle, heart muscle seed to, uh, uh, for uh, chronic heart failure patient. And they are doing in with the company some kind of uh, transfer research uh, do, doing uh, using a, a CPC. And third one is National uh, Cerebral and Cardiovascular Cancer uh, Center Hospital. And their focus is on the cardiology device. They has a big uh, uh, operation room for a uh, big animal. So they can try devices in this uh, uh, operating room. And, and fourth one is uh, University of Tokyo. Their focus is on neurology and, and psychiatry, uh, especially uh, they are doing uh, Alzheimer's disease with Takeda uh, from the company. And, and they built, they constructed phase one unit last year but the unit size, bed size was 12, so I heard they are going to move on another new place in a new future, in a, in a future. Just only, a, so, but this just started phase one unit. And last one is Keio University. Keio University is a very famous uh, private university, and their focus is on immune disease for, so, so IBD and, and also rheumatism and such, such kind of Im immune deficient disease is their focus. So next, I would like to talk about uh, Core Research Center uh, uh, 2012. 
that was uh, we are one of uh, these uh, five uh, sites and and these uh, five sites are focused on this phase two and phase three trial and in this ho universal hospital uh, there uh, no other uh, national hospital was selected and only national universal hospital was selected and in Japan, there is a, a high hierarchy of the university. And there are uh, seven old uh, imperial university and six old medical school. And these uh, five belongs to seven or six uh, these, these groups. And, and we, Chiba, belongs to this six old medical school, but other belongs to this seven. And, the, and, o, and Tokyo and Osaka University belongs to the seven, so only the top group has selected to this uh, core research center. And next one, I like to show you the core research center that was selected uh, this year. Uh, last month, uh, MSW uh, selected these additional five hospitals. And from here, uh, Tohoku University, this was an old, seven old university, and Okayama University, that's six old medical uh, school has selected. And, and National Children's Hospital and, and National Hospital Organization, Nagoya Hospital was selected. Uh, this year, uh, 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 government, MCW had changed the rule of selection because as you see in here, uh, MSW would like to uh, uh, found their hospitals, but there was only two, and, and other uh, national universal hospitals came to the selection. So uh, this year, they, uh, they changed the rule that uh, they can select this, their national universal hospital, a uh, national hospital. And, and so, uh, I, I talk about uh, several policy and, and there's and what uh, MSW has led these several years. And we, a, a National Children's Hospital, uh, doesn't belong to MSW. We belong to uh, a Minister of, uh, of, of, Minister of Education and Technology. So sometimes it doesn't work well to, so, so, so this year we started to think about uh, another network. Uh, and National U University President Committee has made a clinical research project team. And this team was contacted with 10 university hospitals. Almost member came from uh, uh, president or vice president of the hospital. And we talked uh, several times since last October and make uh, some kind of uh, activity plan. And there was three kind of project included. And, and we just submitted this to the uh, Ministry of Education and th this month. So, uh, so uh, we are now going to work together. It, was, it used to be very difficult for us to do that, but now uh, we have to share our uh, resource and because budget is not enough for every university. There are 42 universities, but only a few universities has a big budget. So, uh, but there are many nice doctors in many hospitals, so we try to do a network. Uh, and we just start discussing about these things. And I, I am a member of this uh, 10 university hospitals and me uh, discussion members, so we are just we want to do our best uh, things that we can do. So uh, this uh, activity and, 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 and environment of Japanese uh, uh, drug development. So next, I would like to talk about Chiba's activity. And <coughs> I divided as several parts. And first, Chiba University, as I mentioned, is a very old university. Uh, it was founded in eight, 1874, but our research center was uh, uh, just we have only 13 in history. It's a very, very, very new uh, uh, place in our, uh, our hospital. And, and, and John mentioned that uh, we, Chiba is located very near to Tokyo and between uh, Tokyo and Narita, Chiba is, is located. So I hope everybody uh, to visit Chiba if you came to Japan. And next. 
and, and our mission. Uh, our, mission uh, our mission is to improve patient care by developing um, sorry, a scientific leadership, ensuring high ethical standards through innovative and collaborative clinical research. This is, I think, very similar to Duke uh, mission. I learned Duke uh, mission from John and um, Renato. They had a, a, a seminar in Brazil, and I made this one. That's why it's very difficult. <laughs> They're just similar, <laughs> but I think uh, it is very important that we work for patient. That is, I think, is very important. So, uh, and and to do this one, and um, we. We create unique clinical trial environment as ARO, and, and, and collaboration and partnership with regulatory agency, and pharmacy company, and universal hospital in Japan, and Asia, US, and Europe is important. I think not only doing by ourselves, uh, working with uh, many stakeholders is very important. And, and I would like to talk about our organization and I divided it to two slides. It used to be one big slide, but I divided it to two slides. <laughs> and in the uh, left hand, and there, there is a, a, a written uh, regarding to prom uh, promoting and in committee. This is a steering committee of CCRC Clinical Research Center and uh, advisory committee of our research center. And in the right hand, you can see IRB and COI committee and, and other office that support these uh, com committee. And we have here, this is a Chiba University a Hospital Clinical Research Center. And under here, there's CLC divi di division and there are about uh, 20 uh, research nurses working with us. And, and we also have several uh, special uh, we have uh, uh, many uh, staff who has specialty, and and we uh, constructed a uh, arrow uh, with uh, these uh, specialty uh, project leader, clinical research associate, data manager, biostatistician, and safety assessment re reviewers and clinical research coordinators. And when we run a trial, we make a, a, a project team with a, a, a staff that is constructed. And, and we run, and in this running, and running a trial, principal investigators and project leaders partnership is very important, I think so. So uh, when we uh, run trial, uh, our project leader uh, works very hard with uh, principal investigator. Usually, a uh, principal investigator do not work so hard, so they are so busy, so, so project leader is very, uh, but anyway, a, this is a team, uh, and uh, and educating such kind of uh, people, uh, we had uh, reorganized our uh, research center. There, now we have eleven uh, groups, and that that uh, that is uh, depends on the specialty. Uh, uh, there are uh, project leaders uh, group. Uh, uh, I saw visit us last week to that uh, office, and we have several staff working there. We have the uh, same kind of uh, office for e each groups, and these groups uh, works together in one project. And and to educating these uh, people, we uh, started this uh, Chiba University Future Medicine Research Center uh, uh, from uh, 2011. And 11, 12, and this uh, uh, center, it is for uh, 2012. It is for uh, educating some kind of people uh, who would like to work in clinical research in our university. Uh, this is different from hospital, medical school, and graduate school. It is uh, just uh, directly belongs to university, so we can work very quickly. To make a new decision, and and we we established uh, that in 2012, and this for activation of advanced medicine and for clinical research, and we are going to uh, invite uh, eight professor and 20 staffs 
until uh, 2020. That is Dr. Saito's uh, president of uh, Chiba University's idea. So I hope it will become true and it will strongly it helps our research center. And, and next, I would like to talk about our five key areas of clinical trials. Uh, I just divided to five. Uh, first one is uh, advanced medicine. And second one is uh, investigate the clinical trial that I mentioned uh, um, before. And third one is academic research organization lead global clinical trial. This is something I want to uh, do with Duke, and I learned many things from John. And the first one is a, a venture cooperation and collaborating and seeds development. And the first one is a post-marketing and phase four trial. And these, four, uh, these five kinds of uh, trials <coughs> would uh, lead uh, the result to a patient and care, uh, <coughs> uh, we can make more new uh, data, and patient care would uh, be better. We can be better by these data. So, uh, approval of medical technology and approval of medical products and devices, and, and, glo and global approval and, and, and approval of medical equipment, and reflect on and cochrane review and treatment guidelines, these are something we think is our goal. And, and, and so we want to uh, work as an ARO to make these uh, trials to come to this goal. And I would like to talk about the detail of this trial. Uh, and there are, there are five uh, parts. And first one is uh, advanced medicine. We are now uh, running uh, some kind of uh, trial that we use a uh, CPC, cell processing center. And this uh, trial uh, uh, we call NKT uh, cell therapy, uh, Chiba NKT cell therapy. I think uh, everybody knows T cell. And, and there's, uh, there's some T cell that has NK receptor. It's very rare in human. In mouse, there are many such kind of T cell, but in human, it's, it's very rare. But uh, we can activate the NK T cell and put back in the uh, body and make the a tumor more smaller than it used to be. And <coughs> so we are doing that for lung cancer, non-small lung cancer, uh, and we run a clinical trial by using a CPC. And this kind of clinical trial, we submit to PM, uh, to MHW, and and we we just now running the trial. And there are several kind of uh, advanced medicine trial in our hospital. And second was uh, investigative nature clinical trials. We run and and trials for Poems syndrome. Poems syndrome is a uh, some kind of blood uh, disorder disease that's very similar to multiple myeloma, but the difference is that they can't become walking. There has a uh, neurological uh, disorder, and and in the uh, their uh, blood uh, VGF level becomes very high. Usually, it is uh, one or oh, oh, hundred oh, eight six hundred picogram. I forgot the uh, unit, but. But it became, it became uh, more than 5,000 or, or more than that. So, so side wide is a very nice graph to make it down, and it makes patient uh, very nice. If we don't do that, the VGF uh, products pr will become more and more, and at last, the hard uh, water, lung water, uh, makes them to become die. So we run this trial with double blind plasma control trial. And we have only 1,000, probably 500 to 1,000 patients in Japan. So it's very difficult for us to run this trial, but we are now doing this. And after we have finished this trial, we are going to submit 
make a make a new drug up, uh, make a new label for site wide uh, uh, to and and so uh, and, and our, so it's a PMDA make our approval patient can use under uh, medical care and we are planning several other uh, investigative initial clinical trial and third one is a uh, an ARO initiated global clinical trial. And last year, we had a very nice experience working with John. Uh, we, we had uh, probably twice a, a week a uh, teleconference with the pharmacy company uh, for six months. And after that, we had a KOL meeting in Japan. And John and a member from the pharmacy company uh, visited us and we invited uh, other KOL, KOL in Japan and hold a meeting. It's a very nice meeting. And this kind of experience was very, uh, what we want to do. You know, and we are now waiting that we can move on the next step, between the consultation and global phase three, something we can attend. And third one is drug development and collaborating with a Japanese venture uh, company. We are now doing a EP4 antagonist uh, uh, from uh, Ragolia Pharmaceutical uh, uh, Company. And, and this is, we are now trying to use for IBD disease and, and other uh, disease. And, and fifth one is a post martin phase of trial. And in this trial, uh, uh, we, we finished a DP4, DP4 uh, for diabetes trial last year, and, and there was uh, 240 patients from 40 uh, sites around in Chiba. So I'd like to talk about next uh, our education in just a short time. And th we have three kinds of education. And the first one is uh, uh, we make a graduate school with a, a regulatory agency, MSW and PMDA. And it's, this goal is to ed uh, educate students who can play a central role in the area of regulatory science and drug development. And second one is personal training and education. And for doctors, uh, pharmacists, nurses, and all staffs, we uh, do education. And third one is uh, for young generation. This we visit uh, a junior high school and make some kind of uh, examination in the classes. This is to uh, them to understand why clinical trial is important, and it's very nice. Uh, uh, class for me, and we we do some kind of uh, alcohol metabolism uh, test and DNA test, and another time we uh, uh, let them to uh, drink caffeine and placebo and and make and, uh, and check the uh, scent uh, concentration by uh, their uh, uh, calculating capability checking that. It's very uh, nice, uh, uh, some kind of clinical trial to, for them to experience. And next, I would like to talk about the partnership in ARO. And uh, I think uh, partnership is uh, with ARO, uh, around ARO is uh, nothing I have to explain to you, but uh, we, uh, of course, want to make a good partnership with everybody for new drug trial, trial and for patient. And now, uh, these are some pictures with uh, several years ago with Duke and this in Sao Paulo and, and John visited Japan when it was a disaster. Uh, yes, it's at the 2011. I was with John in a uh, uh, hall, present hall. And, and this was uh, last year, we made a 10th anniversary a meeting and John visited us to have our lecture. And, and we also have some relation information uh, <coughs> we make some relation with other uh, ARO uh, we are now uh, talking with uh, Asian group uh, Hong Kong, Korea, tai Taipei and Singapore to make some kind of annual meeting and next 
would like to move on to collaborate together. And, and, and la last thing I want to talk about, a partnership with regular agency. As I told you, we had a very nice relation with a regular agency that we made a, a graduate school with them. And another thing is uh, we, uh, we start this year another, a new project to exchange our personal. This is to develop a personal, a personal experience in the areas such as pharmaceutical area affairs law, regular science, and the approval process of new drugs. So our staff can visit, uh, is now uh, is visiting in, in PMDA as a staff, and this uh, project would continue five years. So it's a very a nice project to know each other. And their staff came to us uh, to teach us. So, so we worked together in one project. And and this is a uh, future goal of the, our research center. As I mentioned, uh, we have several activities, and goal is clear. This is for patient. And we practice uh, our practice uh, as an arrow to make these uh, activities to the goal. So we have to want our arrow activities more better than it used to be to make to make uh, the goal clear. And and so. This is all that my present I prepared, and today I talk about first, uh, uh, that's uh, summarized regulation in clinical research and trial in Japan. And there was a uh, five year activity uh, plan 2012, and 15 sites has selected as core center. And our mission is to improve patient care through clinical research, and, and we are acting as an ARO, and we also have education. Uh, of graduate school students and staff members, and international academic uh, partnership in global uh, ARO, and um, partnership between a uh, regular agency. And goal is to uh, make a new treatment for patient, and that's our goal. So uh, thank you for attention and. I, I'm very appreciative to, have, to, keep, to come here. I know many people, this is my seventh time visiting in Duke. <laughs> I first came here in 2003 when, I, I, when there was a, a meeting in Tokyo that held by Duke. I asked uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Kedaf to visit here and he introduced uh, me John and after that <laughs> John take care of me for a long time. And, and in, in those days, our research center, there's only eight staff. And now we have 80. I learned many things from Duke. And, and so, so this long uh, collaboration makes us active very nice. And I'm very, uh, I have to say uh, thank you for everybody. Yes. So thank you very much for attention. So we have a few minutes for uh, some questions. Some a long time. Yeah, that's good. Uh, um, and uh, we'll, we'll start back. Oh, I won't need a microphone, I don't think. Oh. Um, <laughs> I, thank you for speaking with us. I'm interested in the guidance that you mentioned that's new. Is this new from 2012? Yes. And it, is it from PMDA or the ministry? Oh, ministry. OK, lovely. Yes. I'm going to Google that. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, other other questions? Dr. Jones? I think this. This is a. Uh, Push on the bottom, sorry. I think this is a very much uh, needed uh, program for Japan. Uh, I was first in Japan, I think, in 1974, doing things medically, and was last there about a year or two ago. But um, the distressing thing to me was, among the surgeons at least, there was not very much collaborative spirit. Um, <laughs> there was a lot of individualism of very small little individual clinical studies being reported uh, and it happened to be on the value of ventricular surgery added to bypass surgery so it was kind of a very specialized sort of thing uh, but do you um, I've always uh, admired the capability of the Japanese uh, medical community to contribute but I've always been kind of surprised at the isolation that occurs that may be a bit of your national ethic. Could you speak to this? Is there a way to, to kind of come in with a new breath of fresh air and involve people so that you can move forward and, and, and reach your capability? 
and that that one is very important. Um, it, it it used to be a isolated, and they work uh, uh, independent. Not that they, do, they don't work together, but uh, these days uh, uh, government strongly change like budgeting, and that makes uh, each universities is uh, professors to work together in one core research center. So I heard that, as for example, Kyoto University, there are many, many famous uh, professors, but they have to work to get a budget. First year, they failed to get a budget. It, <laughs> for me, Tokyo and Kyoto is the best too, but it was a big mistake for them that they couldn't work together and they couldn't get a budget. So next year, uh, many professors work together to get a uh, budget. So same thing would happen in a surgery. Uh, there are some kind of uh, big uh, s uh, trial for surgery. And so uh, professor of surgery came to you know, us to, as a, to the IRB uh, to submit a, a quicker trial. And so I think uh, we are now going to change. And this change, will, it, we, can, we can just several years ago. So yeah. I think it would be better. I, I, maybe just, I'll just echo that. I, I've been going to Japan for about 10 years now. And there, there's been a dramatic change, I think, uh, led by the government, um, and, uh, but also uh, adopted by uh, much of the clinical research community in Japan, r recognizing that that isolationism that they have is isolating them out of relevant clinical research. And they, uh, the Japanese like measuring things, so they measure their publications in high-profile paper in high-profile journals, and um, feel like they're they're not adequately represented. And the reason, and they are they're appropriately recognizing some of the reasons why is they're not doing big enough research that requires collaboration. I mean, multi. I think they're they're getting to the point where these institutions are collaborating internally, and then the next step is can you get them to start thinking about collaborating. Um, 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 with each other, and so, then yeah. and then with other countries in Asia, um, so. because you know Japan is Japan is in no way is a developing in no way a developing country, um, and they have a the real potential to play a leadership role in acro across Asia. So I'll, I'll let Hadiki I'll, I'll let Hadiki uh, comment on it, but um, about the public's perception. You're going to schools, um, but what's what's the public's perception uh, about clinical research in Japan? What are patients? What do patients think about clinical research? Mm. That, that's a very difficult question because uh, mm, if patient uh, is a patient, mm -hmm. and uh, for patient quicker research is something uh, hope because we can access new drugs but uh, if he, if he was not a patient they think quicker research is a test so uh, many japanese do not prefer when to join a trigger trial when they are not a patient but after they became a patient and a patient who attend a trial they always say it was good experience to attending a trial. So there's a big difference between patient and healthy people. Probably that's very similar in the US, isn't it? Yeah, I think, I think it's relatively similar, yes. All right, great. Well, um, thank you, everybody. And I'm hoping as we continue to develop our international collaborations, we'll have um, speakers coming from China, India, South America, um, uh, we've had some, but continue to be able to highlight all the work, important work we're doing with colleagues around the world. So thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you.